Welcome back to LTF1. We've got a really quick livery rundown for you today. It's going to be a short video, but don't forget to like and subscribe. We had our 32 livery reveals of the year this week, and McLaren went first with their unveiling of the MCL 35M. The show took a while, and many were left disappointed by a livery that stayed largely to the same. But with this year being transitional, it made sense that the car and delivery would reflect this. For me, it's much better than last year's launch livery. Uh, the MCL 35 took a while for me to warm to. And for those of you wondering why there's no Mercedes branding, it's just not a part of their deal. This year's car seems to be a decent evolution of last year's car, and the packaging around the back looks tight. If you're wondering why there's no Mercedes branding, it's because they got the M in the name, the MCL 35M for Mercedes, so they're not having any branding on the car. And we can probably expect this to continue with the next few cars, so the MCL 36M would be next year. Hopefully then we'll see more overhaul delivery. I know many people are hoping for the Chrome to come back. I'm one of those, but for now, we just gotta hope. Moving on, the second livery reveal of this week was the AT02, Alpha Tari's 2021 contender. The AT01 split opinion, but I loved it, and I fully expected the sister team to stick with it. But the AT02 comes across as an inverted version of the original livery. When you take this inverted version and you put it on a classic car, it bangs. Tommy from WTF1 showed us this. But on a modern car, I feel it just makes everything look heavy and cumbersome, like a boat. Though I don't rate the AlphaTauri livery this year, they've got two exciting drivers lining up and a decent chance at competing with the upper midfield. What are your opinions on the two liveries? Comment below and let us know. Today should be Sunday, so Alpha Romeo should be launching their livery, which I believe we've had a sneak peek at. And Red Bull is tomorrow, I believe, so we'll have another rundown for you then. That's all for now. Like I said, like and subscribe, it helps us out. If you've not already, check out our website, ltf1official.com. We've got opinion pieces, really deep technical insights from engineers, and a lot more stuff, so check that out. Thank you.